a glass being put on the table, a door being closed upstairs, my children playing with their toys on the floor, cutlery being taken out of a dishwasher, normal everyday sounds that you cannot escape from were causing me a horrific number of flashbacks. I just basically would have to curl up in a ball and, and try and hide away. Having PTSD is like being stuck forever, physically and psychologically in the very worst moments, an amalgamation of the very worst moments of our lives. I started that deployment as the second in command of a company and probably two or three weeks into that deployment, a very good friend of mine was killed uh, very close to the base on a patrol that I had deployed and was overseeing at the time. Afghanistan was a very uh, significant part of my life for probably about an eight year period, which was incredibly intense. But even when we came home, our friends, our colleagues were all still out there. I remember being at a, a party and finding out about a friend who'd just been killed other times I was woken on a Sunday morning to be told about another friend's death. I was on holiday when I saw on the news about a good friend who'd been killed. It did take a, take a toll. He'll go quiet, he'll disassociate, he's trying to block out whatever it is in the room that's upsetting him or annoying him. Uh, and we have to use grounding techniques to try and bring him back into the room, get him talking, verbalising what's going on in his head and just trying to make him be in the present to try and calm him down. Complex PTSD is a consequence of chronic trauma, so trauma experienced over many, many years, um, often of a very extreme nature. And that doesn't just upset us, it has a very real and catastrophic consequence on our, on our body, on our physiology, on our brains. When we look at comparative brain scans, you can see spectacular damage across the brain, which explains why yeah, we as, as sufferers of PTSD can't move on from an event. The mountaineering came at the right time and it wasn't just about the summit, it was about being there with such a remarkable bunch of guys and all of them Royal Marines as well. The achieving of the summit wouldn't have been what it was if I'd been with anybody else. From a couple of years of feeling pretty worthless and not being able to do anything, achieve anything, to suddenly literally being on top of the world has just helped him grow in confidence, made him realise he can be good at things, can do things, and really turned that negative spiral on its head. There are still things I struggle tremendously with, uh, meal times and um, bedtimes and um, uh, the school run. Um, but I'm, I'm a lot more comfortable with those struggles because I know that I've got to the top of the world. The charity is an extension of the Royal Marines. We're all one big family in every sense of it. They might not have the answer, they might not have the exact solution for us at the time, but they try and they're always trying to learn what more can we do and how can we help and I, I think it's that reassurance, that knowing, that confidence that I can have in, in them that whatever we need, whenever we need it, they, they will do their absolute best, for, whether it's for me or Amy or the children, they will do, they will do their best.